Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at the Pythagoras Theorem and we're going to do a quick overview and then we're going to look at a couple of questions. So Pythagoras is basically the study of right angle triangles and it can be used to find any missing side. And the formula that we need to use is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now the way this looks on a triangle is like so. So C is the hypotenuse, which is always the longest side, B, which is the opposite, and A, which is the adjacent. Now A and B can be interchangeable. The one key constraint is that C must be the longest side, i.e. the hypotenuse. So if we take a look at question one, question one asks us to find the length of the missing side x in metres. And it gives us a right angle triangle. It tells us that the adjacent is four metres and the opposite is three metres. And we need to find C. So you can pause the video and give this question a try using the equation highlighted in red. So if we take a look at the solution, we have the same triangle as before and the equation that we've seen earlier. However, we've changed the colours of the numbers to represent the letters that we're going to substitute in. So A in this case being 4 and B being 3. So we pop the numbers in and 4 squared will give you 16 and 3 squared will give you 9. Add them together will give us 25. Now that is for C squared. So in order to get C, we have to square root it, which will give us a value of C to be 5 metres. And we need to remember the metres in there. And this triangle is a special triangle, as it's also known as a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So if we take a look at question number 2. Question number 2 gives us a horizontal pipe with a diameter of 60 centimetres. And it tells us that the surface width of the water, AB, is 55 centimetres and it gives us a height of D which is the depth of the water. So if we look at the diagram by itself and we need to ask ourselves we need to find a right angle triangle within this circle. Now the one that we can use is this one here because we know what the radius is and we know what the size of AB is, so we could half that. And that will give us a new triangle with these dimensions. Now, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, i.e. the radius, because it goes from the centre to the outside. Diameter is 60, radius is 30. 55 centimetres, the whole width of A to B, we have that, we get 27.5. So, using the same formula as before, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, we substitute in the values, however, this time, instead of finding c, we now need to find b. So, it's the same thing as before, just pop the numbers in. Now, you will be given a calculator for this. So, we get 900 equals 756.25 plus b squared. Now, if you follow the same procedure, you will end up with a value of B equals 12 centimetres. Now, that is this height here. Okay, but the question asks, find the depth of the water. So, D from the diagram earlier was the whole radius from the centre to the outside minus the length of B. So it's going to be the radius, which was 30, take away 12, will give you a depth of water to be 18 centimetres. And that is how you would go about solving those kind of problems. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and leave any comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.